Okay, in this section, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Slide Masters. Now, before you use Slide Masters, you've got to have a reason for using it. And I've been producing PowerPoint presentations for years. And what I find is if your PowerPoint presentation itself contains a lot of slides, there's two things when I'm starting to produce a large presentation that worry me. One, do I have to keep making cosmetic changes to each slide as I introduce a new slide and keep adding them one by one? Cosmetic changes meaning backgrounds, my font sizes, the colors of my fonts, um, clip art, things like um, company logo, bottom right hand corner, page number, bottom left hand corner, copyright information, trademark patent information at the bottom, you might want a banner across the top, my email address for people who are watching the presentation, you might want to note that down. So every time I introduce a new slide, I might want to repeat or duplicate that information irrespective of what the body of the, of the PowerPoint slide is going to contain. So that's one thing, I want to make my life a lot easier. Uh, and that's what templates are for, ma master slides are for. And we'll look at how that works. The second thing is if I've got a lot of slides in my presentation, what tends to happen is I like to split it up into sections. So for example, if we're presenting about the company, the type of products we've got, what the benefits are, and how you can buy them. That's four sections. If it's going to last about an hour long, what I like to do is to change the color scheme of my collection of slides to do with the company and keep them as one color. When we start to talk about the products and the range of products I've got, change the theme a little bit, and then change the theme when we get to what the benefits are, and lastly change the theme again at the end on how to buy it, which stores you can get them from, and when's the day of the launch. So if we've got 20 slides in each section, that's four sections, 20 slides each, a PowerPoint presentation made up of 80 slides in total, and we want to make it a simple process of creating them, and we want to be able to group them together so we can change the cosmetics as we go along. That would have been a real pain in previous versions of, of, of Office. You could do some of those things, you couldn't do others, and the way you did them was a little bit harder. So if you look at my PowerPoint that I've got open at the moment, it's a single presentation made up of one slide. Um, and there's very little on there at the moment. If we know from the word go that we're going to be introducing at least 20 slides with certain things like logos and page numbers, what we ought to do is not get running into creating our PowerPoint presentation straight away, we need to prepare the masters first. And a master is a very different slide to normal slides. You don't actually present a master slide. It's a hidden slide well outside of the presentation, and you make the changes to the master slide, and the type of things you make, the, the type of changes you make are the ones that you want repeated throughout the rest of your presentation. What you're looking at on my screen is not the master slide. It's hidden, and certainly in 2007, to get to it is somewhere else. If I go and click up near the top here, which is the View tab, you'll see that the ribbon's changed as you'd expect it to. On the left-hand side, you'll see that there's an option called Slide Master. And if I choose the Slide Master option, and I zoom out, across the top, you'll see that there's a new program option that wasn't there before. So Slide Master. And lots of fun stuff you can do with it. As you can see from the ribbon, there's various options. 